Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about a great Irish rebel song called Men Behind the Wire. So this song was written by a Belfast man called Paddy McGuigan and it was released on the 4th of December 1971. It was released by a band called Barleycorn, which was Paddy McGuigan's band. One month after this song's release, it actually went to number one in the Irish charts. So it was a super popular song at the time. The song basically describes the brutality of the British soldiers during the troubles in the north of Ireland. The Men Behind the Wire refer to the people that were held at Longkesh prison camp without trial or without charge. Right, so let's stop right here and describe what Longkesh prison camp was. Longkesh prison camp was a prison in the north of Ireland in Mays in County Down. Later on, Longkesh was actually renamed HM Mays or Her Majesty's Mays. This prison was used to house alleged paramilitary prisoners during the troubles in the north of Ireland. This was one of the most brutal prisons. There was absolutely no human rights in this place. Prisoners were abused and beaten on a daily basis. The prisoners got so badly abused in this prison that they actually went as far as stop going to the bathroom because when they did they got beaten for it and it was also home to many a hunger strike. In 1978, after so many prisoners getting abused and beaten on a daily basis, they actually did a dirty protest. Without going into too much detail, in short, a dirty protest was when the prisoners stopped washing themselves and stopped using the bathrooms and they actually started spreading, you know what, all over the walls of their cells. As I said, this prison was also home to some of the hunger strikes, including the 1981 hunger strike that was led by Bobby Sands. The 1981 hunger strike started in March and didn't end until October that year. Ten men died on this hunger strike. Bobby Sands was actually the first to die after 66 days on hunger strike. He died on the 5th of May 1981 in the prison's hospital and he was only 27 years old. Longkesh Prison Camp, which was later renamed HM Mays, closed down in the year 2000 is all. Demolition of the prison started in October of 2006, but then it was redeveloped into a park. Right, so let's go back to the songs. It actually just describes how brutal and how tough it was living in the north of Ireland during the Troubles. One of the key lyrics in this song is, armored cars and tanks and guns came to take away our sons, but every man must stand behind the men behind the wire. This line is basically just saying that everyone should stand behind the men that were held at the prison without trial or without charge. Basically just saying how wrong and inhumane the whole scenario was. So Paddy McGuigan didn't hold back on the lyrics in this song whatsoever. He gave you a black and white version of what it was like at the time. Like most Irish songs, this song has been covered by multiple people like the Wolf Tones, the Clancy Brothers, etc. I must say, if you are going to check out this song, I'd recommend listening to the original by Barleycorn. It is absolutely class. So that's a quick rundown of Men Behind the Wire by Paddy McGuigan. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button below. Leave a comment down below of what song you want me to break down next. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.